and from the tops of our heads all the way down to the bottoms of our toes. Blood flow is key to oxygen and nutrient delivery throughout the body. And that takes nitric oxide to happen. We've got Dr. Amy Duffy here, and it's it's good to increase our nitric oxide, right? Absolutely, yeah. The, the benefits of it, what does it do? Well, in the short term, what happens is if, if we don't get enough either nutrients from our food or increase in nitric oxide over time, it actually gets depleted. What nitric oxide does is it helps to relax the blood vessels. It works right in the lining of the blood vessels to open them up. So you can mm -hmm. imagine instead of being all tight, they're gonna be like this and it opens up just like taking a big deep breath. It's gonna increase oxygen flow. It's gonna increase okay. nutrient delivery to your cells. So our body makes it naturally, but our not nitric oxide levels decline as we age. So Correct. what problems might be associated with declining nitric oxide? We see depression, decrease in memory, high blood pressure can do that, chronic fatigue syndrome or just lack of energy mm -hmm. in general. And in fact, there's a recent study that talked about diabetics having a low nitric yeah. oxide level and you know, severe diabetes, they end up with neuropathy and issues with blood flow and, and circulation as well. Well, I liked this, you know, when you talked about a nitric oxide workout, this isn't the kind of workout you're gonna get all sweaty and take a bunch right. of time. This is just some simple movements that you say increase our production yep. of nitric oxide. Real quick to do the first one, you start with doing some arm raises. How does this work? Well, it starts with squats first. The first squats one is squats. I was trying so to skip the squats. You're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna um, act like you're gonna sit down on a stool or a chair behind mm -hmm. you and your arms come out like that. So you're just gonna do real simple exercise. Mm -hmm. And again, you don't have to, you can add weights to it if you're, yeah. if you're already in shape or something like that. Ten of the those. The trick with these is that if you keep your mouth closed, we have to do it open because we're talking today, but keep your mouth closed and breathe through your nose. It increases the stimulation of nitric oxide. Okay. So 10 squats. 10 squats, and that's followed by 10 arm raises. Yeah, these so are just simple. a simple arm okay. raise like this, and you're kind of squeezing your belly, and you're squeezing your back as you come through. Okay, so there's the benefits. And then there are the shoulder raises. Yep. So we do kind of like you're Superman or you're doing mm -hmm. a jumping jack, but you don't have to jump. So this okay. is not cardio. Like We're not, not trying to, to increase heart rate. But when you come back down, you're going to squeeze those back muscles okay. again. So you're doing some, you know, resistance on your own. And everything's just opening up. This is this is what's helping. Um, so this, yeah, this particular ex exercise sequence is designed to stimulate the 16 biggest muscles in your body. Uh -huh. And what happens is that when you first start exercising, it actually lowers the oxygen delivery to those muscles and it stimulates nitric oxide flow to increase oxygen to your muscles. Okay, and the whole the whole program, you go through the series four times, you do 10 squats, 10 arm raises, 10 of the Superman, and 10 shoulder raises. And then you finish with 10 raises. shoulder raises, so just, you know, like you're doing uh -huh. the touchdown, you know, yeah. sort of thing, you're just doing shoulder raises, and you sit here and go, oh, that's super easy. It, we have, you know, strong athletes or, you know, people in the gym all the time that are lifting crazy weights. By the time they get to here on set number four, they're like, yeah. can't move their arms. It, yeah. it creates a burn. And, and it's just the fact that you're doing uh, those four things 10 times a piece, you go through that rotation four times. Four times. Okay. So it's four cycles, 10 exercises each one. By the end, you've done 40 squats and you go, wow. Well, that wasn't you know, a thing. I did a little workout for today. So it feels good for many reasons. And doing it several times throughout the day, like you said, you're not going to get all sweaty. You can do it in your work clothes. So yeah. stand up from your desk. It takes four minutes. Mm -hmm. So it's a great one to do right when you get out of bed in the morning. Another one lunchtime. Another one, you know, somewhere in the evening, and you've got some, you know, good workout going on. And it seems like something that just anybody could do. But now people are saying, how do I know if my nitric oxide levels are low? What are we What are we measuring? Well, in general, if you're over the age of 30, mm -hmm. then you're likely going to have lower nitric oxide, but there's actually strips that you can do to test where these are super easy. You can put them under your tongue and it gives you a color. So from white to this bright pink color. So, mm -hmm. you know, not everybody's low if they either are doing a lot of working out or they're eating. So foods that increase nitric oxide are those dark green leafy vegetables. We talk about them all the time and probably beets. Not a lot of people eat beets, but beets are the highest. And so there are supplements out there you can get, uh, you know, just nitric oxide supplements or mm -hmm. beetroot powder, something people, you okay. know, see in nutrition stores, and that's all designed to increase your nitric oxide. But it's just good to be aware of, of the levels, and yeah, if you're not yeah, eating you all know, of those leafy you know, greens, maybe, you or is your body low. able to take what you're eating and convert it into nitric oxide, and that's what gets depleted over to, okay. over time. Well, I, you know, anything else people should understand about nitric oxide and and what we can do to keep on generating it, why why it's so important overall. 
Yeah, I mean, in general, you know, you may not know that you have a symptom, but if we can increase blood flow to your brain, increase blood flow to your muscles, like that's going to help optimize, you know, how you feel. Yeah. And you're going to feel a whole lot better. It just makes sense, and, and it's, it's nice super and easy. easy. Yeah. yeah, well, you love to give people advice on all that. People can find you at Carolina Integrative Medicine in Clemson. Yep. Um, we'll have your website in this segment on accesscarolina.com as well. Dr. Amy Duffy, thank you so much for the insight. We appreciate it. Well, the... Simpsonville Arts Foundation is putting on a brand new event this weekend. You might want to check this one out. Ava Bratz is learning more about Spring Into Art.